Hello students, this lecture is a part of free lecture series for NTSC level 1 for Maharashtra State. This is brought to you by Shushma Classes. We also provide a small classroom for online and offline live learning, a strong focus on conceptual understanding, best blend of technology and human touch, a strong focus on futuristic skills, connect with students, AI-based test platform. Our vision in Shushma Science Center is to get the best out from each student by emphasizing on conceptual knowledge and scientific temper and inculcating right attitude and futuristic skills. Our mission is teaching each student to think, question, learn and be future ready. Let's move to the first question. A tennis ball is thrown up and reaches a certain height and comes down in 8 seconds. If value of acceleration due to gravity is 10 meter per second square, then height reached by tennis ball and velocity with which it strikes the ground respectively is. There are four options, so just go for the solution. Let TA and TD be the time of ascent and time of descent respectively. So it's given that TA plus TD is equals to 8 seconds. So we can say TA is equals to TD. So 2TA will be 8 seconds. So TA and TD finally will be 4 seconds. Now put the value of all in First equation of motion v is equal to u plus g into t. So as u is 0 plus 10 into 4. So we will get 40 meter per second as a final velocity. Now comes to the second equation of motion. So it says v square minus u square divided by 2g. We will put the value for v square as 40 meter per second square minus u value is 0 for that one divided by 2 into 10. So finally we will get the value as 80 meter. So this is our answer. Now go for the second question. 20 gram steam at 100 degree centigrade is introduced on 80 gram ice at 0 degree centigrade. Find the final temperature of the mixture. So heat loss by the steam to condense into water. When any matter will be in the same state, that time they will use latent heat to convert into another state. So this is M is equal to mass, L is equal to latent heat of the steam. So after putting value, we will get 108000 calorie. Now this steam will convert into 100 degree centigrade. That time we will use the formula M S delta T. So we will put value of M as a 200. A specific heat for the water is 1 and temperature will be 100 degree centigrade. So we will get 20,000 calories. So total heat for steam is 128,000 calories. Now heat gained by ice to melt. So again, we will go for mass of ice and latent heat of ice. So latent heat of ice is 80 calorie per gram. So final, we will get 64000 calorie. Now, whenever any mixture will give the heat that will be absorbed by the another substance. So if we will consider final temperature as T, so we will get remain heat to be given to a mixture is 128000-64000. So finally, we will get that 64000 calorie. Now put the all value in the formula, means total mass into specific heat into change in temperature will be equal to 64000. So after solving this, what we will get? That is T is equal to 64 degree centigrade. So there is no option which is 64 degree centigrade. So answer is none of them. Now question number three. For colorblind person, choose the incorrect statement.
from the following. Option number two is the answer for this question. <clears throat> As the retina of the eye has two types of light sensitive cells called rod cells and cone cells. Both are found in retina, which is the layer at the back of our eye, which processes images. Rods work in low light condition to help night vision, but cones works in daylight and are responsible for color discrimination. So option B is right for this question. Question number four. A sound signal is simultaneously sent in air and water from a boat on a river. The echo of sound striked by river bed is heard in four seconds, while echo striked by aeroplane is heard in eight seconds. Find the distance between aeroplane and river. They gave velocity of sound in air is 350 meter per second, and velocity of sound in water is 1500 meter per second. There are four options. So answer one, option one is the correct answer. Now let's go for the solution. Time taken to hear echo is half the time taken to cover the distance. Very important point. As for echo, we have to travel twice the distance. So we can say distance travel in river is, we, we will represent it as S is equal to V into T. So 1500 into 2, 2 seconds. So total distance we will get 3000 meter. Same formula for air. So S or means you can say distance in air is equal to velocity into time. So 350 into 4. So finally we will get 1400 meter. So if we will add both the distance we will get the final distance between riverbed and Aeroplane. So 3000 plus 1400 meter will be 4400 meter or we can say 4.4 kilometer. Now question number five. What is the unit of gravitational potential energy? So answer is third, Newton meter. How? Go for answer please. Gravitational potential energy, we can represent it with the U also. So U is equals to MGH. M is mass, G is gravitational force, H is height. So kg into meter per second is square into meter. This kg into meter per second is square, we can represent it with the force also because mass into acceleration is force. So unit for force is Newton. So this meter will be multiplied with this Newton and final answer will be Newton meter. Question number six, a ray of light is incident on the surface of transparent medium at an angle of 45 degrees centigrade and is reflected in the medium at an angle of 30 degrees centigrade. What will be the velocity of light in transparent medium? Again, four options are here. Now go for the answer. As we all know, the formula for reflective index is sine i upon sine i. As per the question, sin i is 45 degree centigrade and sin r is or reflective angle is sin 30. Put the value of sin 45 and sin 30. So we will get 7, 0.7071 divided by 0.5. So reflective index will be 1.414. Now we will keep this value. We will put this value of n into another formula. C divided by n. Velocity in air divided by refractive index. 3 into 10 to the power 8 divided by 1.414. So answer is 2.121 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second. So with this, we came to an end of today's lecture. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and our Telegram group so that you get our updates. Thanks a lot.